Head first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and all glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Kakodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders that do rule by the great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam out there pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. Say shalom to you humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Your brother Kalam from the GMS Strand Camp. This lesson will be entitled The Meats with the Prophets. Right? And the reasoning behind this title was I saw Kremer first saw it on the on our GMS um, group chat with the brethren Trinidad brothers or an article or a video or something like that but basically this man was saying that the the meats right the, the dietary law was referring to the prophets of the scriptures are now as absurd as that could could possibly be you know to make a match like that he was he was bold with it he was prideful with it he actually believed that the, that the things spoken of in, in leviticus 11 and other chapters right talking about what to eat and what not to eat he was basically saying he's not talking about actual meat but referring to the prophets all right so i want to go to the book of leviticus chapter 11 and jump around it leviticus 11 verse 1 and Yahweh speak unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, You know what? I want to get this in the, in the blue letter. All right, see what the definition of some of these words mean. Leviticus 11, verse 1. And Yahweh speak unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. These are the beasts. I want to watch. Look up the word. Eat. Strong's H three ninety eight. Achel, Achel. It said to eat, devour, burn up, feed. To eat, to eat, devour of beasts and birds. To devour, to consume. Right. To be eaten by men. To be wasted, destroyed. To cause to eat, to feed, to. Right, so this word is talking about literally eating. Right, and I want to look up beasts as well. Strong's H2416. Chai. Chai. It's a living, alive, green of vegetation. Lively, reviving. Um, we go down to, to four. It's a living thing, animal, animal. Right, creature, beast, living thing, raw. Right. Strong's H nine twenty nine. Behema. Behema. This same beast, cattle, animal, beasts, cattle, livestock, wild beast, right? So it's saying these are the, the, the living things which you shall eat among all the, the beasts right, that are on the earth. And it goes on to say whatsoever part of the hoof and his cloven footed chew with the cud among these beasts he shall eat, right? You could eat goat, you could eat you could eat beef, right? You could eat lamb, you could eat mutton, right, you could eat deer, right? It says you shall not eat of you shall not eat of them that chew the cud. All of them that divide the hoof, right? Right. So basically, it's saying um, it begins to give descriptions of what to eat, what not to eat, right? Um, we said, let's say the swine do he divide the hoof and be cloven footed. Yet he chewed not the cut. He's unclean to you. So animals that are, are that are um, cloven footed and that chew cut, their flesh is clean, right? It goes on to talk about fish without scales right to only eat fish with scales and yeah um, not to eat birds with with web feet and all these things right so it given descriptions of the animals what to eat what not to eat this is the dietary law this is not talking about no no profits this isn't talking about you know like that even think about how absurd and sh stupid israel could be you know no i don't think you know a jake was um on the works at time a jake told us that um, we are the Israelite Edomites. 
right i don't think and he said that the jew to be a jew a jew is a combination of of, of israel and esau into one nation right i don't think i don't know if this be that in stupidity right but it damn near close it, it, it really makes no sense but the book of Hosea Hosea 4 and 6 it say my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest and be seen thou hast forgotten the law of thy power I will also forget thy children. He has forgotten the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You understand? He has forgotten the, the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You understand? That is why he would say sh stupid shit like that. That the, that the dietary law is talking about the prophets. It, it makes no sense whatsoever. Right? Proverbs 3 verse 5. It's a trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding if you read in the scriptures in the sun it letting you know what to eat what not to eat literal beasts are talking about literal eating were you talking about this this talking about the prophets All right just want to bring out two more precepts you know to, to really bring the point home Right, this is where Peter was having vision. The Acts 10 verse 11. It says, And saw heaven opened, and a certain vessel descending unto him, as it had been a great sheet, knit at the four corners, and let down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, rise peter kill and eat but peter said not so lord for i have never eaten anything that is common or unclean right now what this is referring to this is not talking about literal meat but rather talking about whatever the lord cleanse right so he the lord didn't just come to save the jews right he didn't just come for the southern kingdom but the Ahawashai came to redeem all israel all the Israelite foreigners, all the Israelites that were calling themselves Greeks and Philippians and, and, and Romans, right? <clears throat> this the, and the and Corinthians, right? And Galatians and this is for all Israel. He didn't just come for the Jews. So this we're talking about. What had Yahweh cleansed, right? The Lord cleansed Israel, right? The Lord sanctified Israel, right? So don't just go and preach this word unto unto Jews. But unto all Israel. But the key part I want to take from this is where it says, where Peter said, I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. Now, if the law, now if, if the spirit of Yahweh Shai is in Peter, Peter is the, is, the, is, the, is the head of the church under Yahweh Shai. Peter, even after Yahweh Shai, right, even after the death of Yahweh Shai, right, Peter is living. As the way he is supposed to live, commanded by his head, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem Shai. Why would Peter not eat? Why would Peter reply and say, I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean? If the, if the dietary law is referring to the prophets. Because it is not. It is referring to literal meat. And because Peter had his spirit upon him, he understood and he knew. You understand the heritage of his people. He knew the law. You understand? And in that law that Yahweh Shai taught us to keep, it specifically and clearly states what type of meat to eat and what type of meat not to eat. And there ain't no twisting and turning to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. Right? This is my last precept I want to bring out here in Second Maccabees. Chapter 6 um, Chapter 
Second Maccabees 6 verse 17 and say, But let this that we had spoken before warning unto us, and now we will come to the declaring of the matter in a few words. Eliezer, one of the principal scribes, an aged man and of a well-favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. Right, so this was a elder. This was a, 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 a favored man, a principal scribe, right? So he was an elder. He was a man of high renown, right? They say, they say, you see how we look at the apostles and elders are great millstone, right? I am not just them, but he, even also, you know, our various camp leaders and the brothers that, that come, that, you know, came before us, right? We, it's not a matter of respect of persons, but it's a lot of uh, multiple, not pride, but um, honor right for how long they've been in the truth right and how have they how they've been enduring you know our honor and our respect right that he would have that respect towards them right so this is eliezer right and they was they were basically telling him to eat swine's flesh right verse 19 and say but he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment as it behoved them to come that are resolute to stand out against such things as are not lawful for love of life to be tasted it say but they that had the charge of that wicked feast for the old acquaintance they had with the man taking him aside besought him to bring flesh of his own provision such as was lawful for him to use and make as if he did eat of the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king all right so this is eliezer they basically saying all right if you don't want to eat well this unclean meat right bring from your own provisions that which is lawful right because eliezer an israelite man who knew the law you understand a yahweh fearing man he knew that it had specific meats that was permitted to, to be eaten and those that were not permitted to be eaten, right? So instead of him, wait a year, to live stained with an abomination, he spit it forth, you understand? So he would rather die, he would rather be killed than, than to, to eat on clean meat, you understand? So they're still telling him, hey, you know, you just bring clean meat and you pretend like if he eat any pork verse 22 that in doing so he might be delivered from death and for the old friendship with them find favor so you see all these niggas hey that why you really had to watch the people that you are associating with as well these people in the world you understand because hey, it might be friendly friend and all that acquaintance shit you understand but when it comes to they not about your how about shimmy and they will cause you to air that why you are hey, hey do do um, how your boundaries with these these so-called friends and these people in the world because at the end of the day they not they not conform to your about shim your shy right they don't care about the truth they don't care about keeping the law statutes and commandments hey these they don't care about serving your shy all these people want to do is live it up right they want to they want to become rich they want to become you know wealthy they want to have a set of bitches they want to be popular they want to be famous right they want to make it big in this world they don't care about no law you understand they don't care about serving the heavenly father right and you know who trying to do the right thing who you came back to your heritage and you you preaching so like not preaching you you have learned the things that please the heavenly father and trying to keep it right and the life you live here you on the streets preaching you making videos you keeping the holy days of the lord right you becoming separate from them because you doing things that you trying your best to please the lord they're gonna become a obstruction in your path because their ways is contrary to yours they contradict your lifestyle as you contradict theirs you understand scripture say can two men walk together except they be agreed right it's a cool scene but when it comes to this truth hey, you're gonna have a, a, a that line you understand in between because they for the wicked you understand they for the wicked they for this world they for pleasing their flesh and you for pleasing the heavenly father right 
verse 23 say but he began to consider discreetly and, and became his age and as became his age and the excellency of his ancient years and the honor of his gray head whereon was come and his most honest education from a child or rather the holy law made and given by power therefore he answered accordingly and willed them straight ways to send him to the grave all right so he began to ponder it he say Right, he, um, the excellency of his ancient years, the honor of his great head, where he must come, his most honest education. Right, so he, he weighed out in the balance, and it will be the, the, up, the, the result that he came to, right, the decision that he came to, it was better to die for Yahweh, to, you know, to, 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 to die for truth, to die for righteousness, than to live in iniquity. You understand? For it becometh not our age, said he, in any wise to dissemble. Whereby many young persons might think that Eliezer, being four score years old and ten, would now go into a strange religion. Right? So that basically, it, hey, he was so devout that even though he was eat, he was going to eat clean meat, you understand? He still didn't even want the people on them to be deceived. He still didn't want them to be um, to turn away. Because he understood that the position that he was in, if he was to do that, they would follow him. You understand? Because he was a respectable man. So he did what was right. Eh? He, he, he stayed true until the very end. You understand? It's better to choose death. You understand? Than, than to, to, to live wickedly. Right? But the whole scenario is what? He choosing to eat, eat clean meat instead of unclean. Because the dietary law still stands. And if you believe in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, then you would keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You understand? And rehearse the righteous acts. And with that, we will be so much edifying. Even all praises say, Abba Hashem Yahushai, Abba Hashem Shalom.